Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan, September 12th, Thursday evening around 5.30. I just wanted to do a recap because we did a lot of uh, adjustments today. Um, first, we opened this Apple bull put and uh, that actually was looking pretty good. It, um, on my position of 25 contracts, I was showing a profit of 950 at one point. I was thinking of putting a <clears throat> bear call at that time to protect that, but uh, regardless, that's fine. Uh, I think, uh, you know, this trade is good. We'll leave it as is and see how that goes. Uh, Chipotle, we just came back a little bit today. That's fine. Um, gold, we opened a new trade on the straddle. Doesn't, it's not showing any uh, profit or loss right now. This is a December straddle, so long, a lot of time left for this uh, trade. Let's see. Gold is in play right now. Uh, GMCR, we closed out our short straddle, of, which was expiring this week, and that's worked out very well. We captured 2250 in profit and total uh, profit from the straddles are 2500 but of course we still have a ways to go so um, totally i think we have another 3000 or so to recover i don't know if we we'll, uh, if we can recover all of that because now even the long straddle you can see the number of days is 36 so we could probably do this for another week or so and just recover as much as we can the rest of it will just take it as a loss and move on uh, Google did well today and uh, <clears throat> it uh, uh, you can see that uh, Google is is uh, nice I, I would you know ideally it would be between 885 and 890 but we've got only eight days and especially after this weekend uh, theta decay <clears throat> will be doing quite well you can see the theta figure is already 570 now so which is good. Um, on uh, MasterCard was really moved today in the morning and um, uh, it went up to 673 if I'm not mistaken and so we had to roll this. This was a very fast moving uh, trade and uh, so this raised a point you know whenever you see if you're in a position if it's moving really fast then uh, you should if you feel you can take some corrective action you should do that because uh, it's always better to be safe than sorry and for me to send out a create an alert you know take take a picture of the image and send it out by email and by the time you get the email there's uh, quite a bit of time lag there at least uh, about five to seven minutes and this thing was moving really fast so we got all kinds of uh, you know prices on this one I was able to roll it for a 800 uh, I mean I'm sorry uh, a net credit of about $1,100 so right now again you can see the position is down 500 uh, but we have about uh, you know uh, 2,300 so uh, 2300 minus 500 minus about 800 so we you know if we can salvage this position we'll be up by a thousand dollars that's about it but uh, you know this was a very very fast moving uh, stock today so you know if you do find yourself in a situation where if you don't know what to do uh, and uh, my alert has not come out yet then uh, i would highly recommend that you either move it over to the next uh, you know move the strikes over or even close the position because uh, especially when you have a credit spread it's very important that you take care of it because obviously when we do a credit spread our reward is very low and our risk is very high but then of course we are putting probability on our side and that's exactly why uh, the risk reward picture is uh, structured that way so but you know it's a uh, this was a good uh, lesson in, you know in terms of uh, if uh, you know if you find a position getting into trouble uh, you know take it upon yourself to uh, take some corrective action if you don't know what to do then just close it out because you know it's better to cut the losses than uh, be sorry with a uh, with a huge loss later so that was as far as uh, mastercard netflix did well we closed our um, September bull puts for a good profit of uh, 1400 So right now we are looking at a total profit of about 27 to 2800 on this. But of course, we've rolled this over. We've rolled this over. So this, this spread is, uh, is pretty much uh, worthless. So all we have on the October series uh, to capture is this one, which is about, uh, I would say it's even now. So... Uh, about $1,800. So that's what we are left with on Netflix because this role costed us uh, the entire credit. 
So, um, you know, on the Netflix position, within the next 36 days, uh, we have the opportunity to capture about $1,800. Now, we may need to adjust this because Netflix is also a big mover. So, uh, we'll see what to do over the next uh, couple of days. We don't need to do anything now. Uh, price lines moved well. Now, you can see we already have a booked profit of $1,400 on my position. And now, there's another $900. So, which means about $2,300. Um, Ideally, what we should do is wait for this uh, weekend uh, time decay to kick in because there's only eight days left and perhaps capture uh, some more of this uh, 1650. If, even if we can capture about, uh, you know, 50% of that, that would be good. Um, and so we'll, we'll, we'll do that uh, next week. Uh, we should be taking that off. Um, Tesla was uh, a, a little weird it, it went down in the morning came back up and uh, now it's down to now in the after hours it's down for some reason i don't know why but uh, again we don't do anything to tesla right now so uh, that's the that's the general position the other spx we did very well that's the holy grail trade and uh, we actually booked a four percent profit in about 11 days that trade is still going on um, anyway, so that's as far as our positions are concerned. I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.